Right, Shalom, Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises unto Yahweh, Bashami Havashai, Waharaka Kadash, and double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And honor to you, brothers out there in the highways and the byways, teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. And um, <laughs> yeah, let's, let's listen to this. The Hebrews make a grave mistake in studying Hebrew and not studying the Greek first, being that we know Hebrew now comes out of the Greek. Now, obviously, this guy Volcab alone is some is supposed to be some kind of up and calling common scholar. So he's gonna correct Sarnetta, right? Surely he's gonna correct Sarnetta on that. So I've ran into you a lot said of that. I listened to you said that you're more I'm saying I know it better, but I'm not I'm not saying that uh So these this these dudes are saying that the Hebrew language comes from the Greek. Goodness gracious man. Bad mind till bad mind get out of control. Oy. Now, before we even get into the languages, first and foremost, the doctrine of Christianity is destroyed in English. All right, the more you actually look at the key components or the key doctrines of Christianity, you really and truly you, all you got to do is read the bible in english and it don't hold weight and that's before you even go back into the original you know words you know in the greek and in the hebrew and it gets even worse but just with english alone matthew 15 and 24 says this but he answered and said i am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's the Messiah himself, the Son of God, the only begotten, stating quite clearly in English <laughs> that he ain't sent to no one but the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Point blank period. All right. And we do it all the time. We go into the scriptures and... We ain't really got to go into the Hebrew and the Greek. We do for further edification. But really, you could destroy Christianity without even doing that. So I don't know what these guys, what game they're trying to play. But the point of the matter is, is that <clears throat> the Hebrew language is the original tongue. You see, Noah, Ham, Shem and Japheth, right, they spoke one language. All right, they had one language. That language was the Hebrew. Now, we know that all the peoples on earth today come from Ham, Shem, and Japheth, all the nations. So that means that all the languages on earth today are languages that came after the Hebrew. So therefore, they're a perversion of the Hebrew. They're a perversion of the original tongue. That's how languages come about. People change words, change pronunciations, and over time, you have a new language. Languages evolve and change. English is an example of that. If you go back a thousand years ago, you go to a different part of England, they're going to be speaking a different language and then it wasn't until King James brought together all these different languages and codified it and made it into one language you call English. All right, but people are always coming up with slang terms or new pronunciations. And that's how you got all these different variants of dialects and languages throughout the earth. And it goes back to the Lord when he confused the people. So when we go to Genesis, the 11th chapter, and verse 1, it says, And the whole earth was one language and one speech. Now, what are you trying to tell me? Are you trying to tell me that that was a Greek? No, that was the Hebrew. All right? That pure tongue was kept pure through the lineage of um, the sons of God. So when we go down, it says, Verse 6, and the Lord said, the people is one. That was all the nations that were present at that time. 
all the nations the Egyptians, the Babylonians, the, you know, the Cushites, so on and so forth. The, the nations mentioned in Genesis the 10th chapter, the previous chapter, right? They were all speaking one language, but the Lord confounded them. And so they all began to speak different languages. But one of those people kept the original tongue in its pure form. Some languages remain less perverted, like for instance, Aramaic, Aramaic. Um, kept the, a lot of the languages kept the same alphabet or similar looking alphabet that's why when you go back to certain um, ancient languages the alphabets look very similar to the Hebrew alphabet and you can go look that up okay then languages started adding new sounds and va new vowels and all this kind of crap yeah it says, and the Lord said, behold, the people is one and they have all one language and this they begin to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. Right? Remember that Hebrew is the language of the heavens. The Lord communicate with man in the Hebrew. The Lord's name is a Hebrew name. <clears throat> go and let us go down and there. They confound their language that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth and left and they left off to build the sea. So the, the nations got scattered and developed their own languages. Right. So the, the, they, they perverted the original language. And that's how you get all these other language and tongues that you have today. All right. And, you know, you can go consult an uh, anthropologist for the intricacies of that. But if we go back, I'm going to show you where the Hebrew was kept pure. You had um, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Now Shem spoke the Hebrew. Now you go into the lineage. Uh, actually, no, it's actually Genesis 11, isn't it? Right. There's a reason this lineage is recorded. This is the pure language was kept like this. All right. These are the generations of Shem. Shem was 100 years old and begat Alphaxad. Alphaxad spoke the Hebrew. Two years after the flood and Shem lived after he begat Alphaxad 500 years and begat sons and daughters. And Alphaxad lived five and 30 years and begat Salah. And Alphaxad lived after he begat Salah 403 years and begat sons and daughters. And Salah lived 30 years and begat Eber, which is where you get the word Hebrew. Right? And Salah lived after he begat Eber 403 years and begat sons and daughters. And Eber lived 4 and 30 years and begat Peleg, the divide. Right? And Eber lived after he begat Peleg. 430 years and begat sons and daughters and Peleg lived 30 years and begat Ru and Peleg lived after begat Ru 209 years and begat sons and daughters and Ru lived 2 and 30 years and begat Sarag and Ru lived after he begat Sarag 207 years and begat sons and daughters and Sarag lived 30 years and begat Nahor okay All right and uh, and Sarag lived after he begat Noah 200 years and begat sons and daughters. And all these people are speaking the, the Hebrew. And Nahor lived 9 and 20 years and begat Terah, right, which is the father of Abraham. And Nahor lived after he begat Terah 119 years and begat sons and daughters. And Terah lived 70 years and begat Abraham, Nahor, and Haran. Now, these men were speaking Hebrew because the Hebrew was kept within this family line. The other nations had already begun to develop their own languages. Had already begun to pervert the Hebrew, but the Hebrew was kept pure in this line. Now, these are the generations of Terah. Terah begat Abraham, Nahor, Haran, and Haran begat Lot. And Haran died before his father Terah in the land of his nativity in Ur of the Chaldees. Right? So the point is to say you get Abraham speak the Hebrew. All Abraham's um, sons spoke Hebrew. Ishmael would have spoke Hebrew. Isaac would have spoke the Hebrew. Arabic is very similar to the Hebrew. Very similar. 
But again, Arabic is nothing more than a perversion of the Hebrew that their father uh, Ishmael spoke. That's why it's similar. That's why they say Malik and we say Malak. Both those mean king because Arabic is a perversion of Hebrew. The Hebrew, the Hebrew Israelites through Isaac and Jacob kept the pure tongue. But Moab, Ammon, because Lot spoke the Hebrew. Moab and Ammon, Moab and Ammon would have spoke the Hebrew. But see, they, they didn't retain the pure tongue. Their language was perverted and then they had their own languages. That might have been similar in some way, but then over years it changed so much, it becomes more different. Okay, so no, the Hebrew didn't come from Greek. The Hebrew was the original tongue that was passed down through this specific bloodline. The holy tongue, the pure tongue. And it was kept by the, 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 the royal lineage of the people. The heathens, they developed their own tongues. But the fruit, it was a perversion of the original tongue that all people spoke. Going back to um, Shem. Ham and Japheth, man. So these guys don't know what they're talking about, man. But listen, any opportunity to try and cast down the Hebrew Israelites, because that's basically what they're here to do. Right? Here it is, he's jumping on the black consciousness when their whole platform is filled with people that don't even believe in the Bible and dispute the validity of the Bible. <laughs> to hell with them niggas, man. Okay? But I just wanted to just bring that point out just to show you that, that the Hebrew um, descended with a particular uh, lineage that kept that original tongue. And all the other people that's recorded in Genesis 10, they were scattered and developed their own dialects and languages. And like, like I said, that's why, in fact, let me see if I could find it. Right, this is an example right here, so. When you go back and you look at the so-called alphabets of various ancient nations, at the top where it says Biblios, Biblos, all right, you see the, the Lashwan Kodash, the ancient Hebrew. All these other writings are very similar, but they're a perversion of that writing system. Some are more similar than others because it depends on how much it's perverted. If you look at the Aramaic, Aramaic pretty much used the same alphabet. And it was very similar, but even if you read um, in the book of Genesis, they named things differently. But Aramaic was very close to the Hebrew in terms of, you know, how it was spoken. But originally, all these languages would have been. Because, like I said, they all come from the Hebrew. They're just perversions of it. Even the Egyptian language. If you look there. It's just a perversion of the Hebrew. Okay. So. Yeah, I just wanted to. Um, speak on that. Shalom.